As promised, greetings from Copenhagen. I thought I would share with you the incredible view out my hotel room window before I sit down and continue talking about the bow. And recently we've been talking about the middle of the bow, the tip of the bow, and the frog, and what kinds of repertoire are best suited to each of those areas of the bow. And I want to say now that there's more to the bow than just those three areas. Two other very important areas are one quarter of the way out and three quarters of the way out, and I'll talk first about the one quarter way. Uh, you know, of course, in the middle of the bow is the place where it bounces the most readily, the springiest part. And as you come towards the frog, the bow bounces less and less by itself because the hand is too heavy and you have to pick it up and down with the hand like this. Also, the frog is the place where you can put the bow down without it bouncing from in the air. So, what kind of music works best here? Well, the kind of music that employs both types of playing, the legato playing and the off-the-string playing. The best example I can think of off the top of my head is the opening of the last movement of the A major Beethoven sonata. <laughs> but you're still not too close to the frog to be able to bounce easily to do that repeatedly. Another example from a Beethoven sonata, the fugue from the D major.